What's going on everybody? It's Will with Atlanta X Driver and I'm going to apologize real quick. This video is way overdue. Um, the last video I really talked about how Uber's, you know, scamming us and, you know, not really paying our fair share. As we're Lyft, they're still doing the 75-25 where they take out 25%, we get 75% of the total amount the driver paid for the fare. Um, but this is my follow-up video. Basically, it's going to be fairly short, but um, I asked Uber, you know, why isn't it, you know, like it used to be? And the simple answer is upfront pricing. So let's get into it. Cool. So basically, you know, you contact Uber through the app which is what I did, and um, the response came through my phone, but I want to just go through the email so that way I can share it on my screen, that way you guys can read along with me. Um, so basically I just said I had an issue with my fare. This was for uh, one of the airport trips where it was, it was an example I had in the previous video where it was blatantly not as, it was like a 46.54, um, like I think I made 54% of the total fare. And so basically, this is kind of what the response that I was looking for, just so you guys could literally see what they'll say and see what the new paying uh, formula is. I don't know if that's the right word, but this is how they pay us now. And this is how they've been paying us for a while now. And, you know, if, if you hear anything about a 75% cut, it's no longer applicable. That's probably either from an old video or somebody who doesn't know what they're talking about. Uber pays us now through what's called upfront pricing. So I'm not going to talk about that first paragraph, although you should check your trip details to make sure everything's okay. <laughs> um, so the amount a rider pays is separate from what a driver earns. Yeah, no duh. This helps ensure that your earnings don't vary due to estimation and allows us to offer rider promotions without impacting your earnings. Okay, so this is the, this is the major one. Uber estimate, estimates the length of each trip and generates an upfront fare for the rider before a trip starts. So if you've ever ridden, if you're a driver and you've never ridden, if you've never taken an Uber ride or Lyft ride or whatever platform you're working for, you need to stop and take one of those because that should be the first thing you do before you even consider becoming a driver because it's very important. It's important to like, you know, take a trip. You should just to like stay up to date and because, I don't know, you should go out and <laughs> use them but when you go to the app as a passenger you know you'll click and see I wish I had a screen share of my video but you'll click and see you know what screw it I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it now let me see okay so hopefully this focuses so I'm getting into my uber app all right sure Atlanta Coliseum so you can see I'm hoping this focuses, but you can see it already gives the person a price. That's what upfront pricing is. And it estimates the route. Now, this route can change depending on the time of day, depending on the day. Um, and, you know, of course, like our one of our highways collapsed. So things can happen, accidents, all kinds of stuff. Um, and look at this price difference. This is why pool is becoming so popular, and I hate pool. But that's like a 50% difference, almost. $12 versus $23, like, that's why people are taking pool. Um, but anyway, so, you know, it's all estimated. And I really, I have a big problem with that because, like, like I've said, you know, I was talking to somebody the other day, Atlanta traffic is so bad and it, so many variables can happen. Like, just a simple accident can turn your 30-minute ride into, like, an hour, two hours, and that'll really mess you up because you're getting, you know, a thirteen, fourteen dollar ride, but you're spending an hour, two hours getting it, and that's a terrible way to lose money. It's a terrible way to do business. <clears throat> but anyway, that's how they calculate the payments. Um, there are times when a rider pays will be higher or lower than what you earn for the trip, but you will always earn for the actual time and distance driven. Okay, so. There's, you know, kind of where the variables, you know, are somewhat shown. So this is 
an extreme example. Hopefully this will never happen. But one of our highways collapsed, I-85. And, um, you know, some people were stuck in that for four plus hours. So they were only paid, which I think it was, like, it's less than 10 cents. I think it's 9 cents a minute for that. And obviously not driving. So, you know, it's just things like that that can really screw you over. But when it comes down to it, you will always be paid how much you drove um, and how much <clears throat> um, how much time it took you, supposedly. Rates vary by city and vehicle class. Okay, so I want to talk about this too real quick. I'm actually about to do another video. Um, the rideshare guy, uh, he works with other people, and he has this other guy who... Um, did a video on how to make two thousand dollars a week um i just want to make sure everybody who watches this video understands that in atlanta we actually have calvin the simple driver i'm pretty sure he makes more than any other uber driver more than uberman more than rideshare guy um he may be second to rideshare guy but he is making six figures because he has branded himself very well he's made a bunch of viral videos that have helped out a lot of people and he's a smart businessman he is not only been a driver but he's been able to you know help other drivers for fee he has a website that brings traffic to other businesses such as restaurants that he charges those restaurants for and he also has a photography service so he's able to solicit his services um, all that combined he's made you know six figures he has a video on that um, but my point is you're not going to make that much money. Obviously, you're not going to make that much money just driving. And you're not going to make $2,000 a week here in Atlanta. I don't care what you do. Because Calvin, the simple driver, when he was driving and making referrals, I think his highest paid week was like seventeen or $1,800, which is still pretty damn good. But if you're an average driver, if you're driving 40 to 50 hours a week, you're looking at, I would say, a minimum of $700 before expenses and a maximum of 1200 for Uber Pool, Uber X driver. Obviously, if you're Uber Select, Uber Black, Uber SUV, uh, obviously you're gonna get paid a little bit more, which you should. But anyway, I just don't want people, I don't want you guys to get it twisted. You just see all these videos that are usually the viral ones where it's like make $1,000, make $1,500, make $2,000 a week. Is it possible? In some places, during some times of the year, it's not very consistent though. Plus, I bet those people are driving a lot. I'm gonna go way into detail in the next video, but it just, like, I hate, I hate all these videos that, you know, yeah, I love the positivity, I love the energy behind it, but that's all people are paying attention to, and then they get into this business for, like, six months, hopefully they don't buy a new car, but a lot of them do, or they lease, or they rent, and they don't understand that the operating costs of this business are so high. Again, I'm going to get more into detail, but I feel like those, vi those, um, Videos are just, they're not covering everything. And I want to make sure, even if it's just one person, you know, you watch this video and you're like, okay, I'm going to do my homework and make sure this is right for me. I'm not just going to get amped on, oh, I can make $2,000 a week. So, yeah. But anyway, that's upfront pricing. That's why it's not a 25-75 split. Um, as of right now, Lyft hasn't done this in the Atlanta market yet. Will they? Probably. Um... But it's just a matter of time for all this because they're all trying to get as much money as they can to go public and invest in their driverless cars. Um, but anyway, just want to make sure that that answers all the questions as to why we're getting paid such a weird amount sometimes. And why it's like, just ch check your payment statements and then that's why. Anyway, um... I hope this video helped you guys. Um, as always, feel free to like, subscribe, comment. Um, and I'm going to be doing a lot more videos. I've just really, you know, had a, I don't want to say an epiphany, but um, there's a lot that needs to be said in the driver community. And I want to make some videos to just help you guys out, make sure you guys are getting as much information, good information as you can get, so you can make an educated decision before you jump into the rideshare business. Alright, well, my name is Will with Atlanta X Driver again, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.